Let's learn how to round off the numbers to nearest tens. Now, how are you going to do rounding off? Rounding off means, okay, let us start with the first example. Rounding to the nearest tens. So, first we will write down uh, the place values like this is units, this is tens. And now we are going to check the nearest tens place. So, the tens place is 4. And now after identifying the tens place, we are going to check the digit after that. After that, if the digit is 5 or more than 5, then we are just going to add plus 1 to the digit in the tens. And if it is less than 5, then the digit is not going to change in the tens place. So now, the next digit after the tens place is 7. And obviously, 7 is more than 5. So, we are just going to add plus 1 to this tens place. So, 4 plus 1 is 5 and 7 has been rounded off to 0. So, your answer is 50. Now, for the second one, 64. So, the tens place is this one, 6 and the digit after that is less than 5. So, if it is less than 5, the number won't change in the tens place. So, we just write down 6. And the fourth place, the place of 4 has been uh, changed with 0. So the answer is 60. 64 has been rounded to 60. <clears throat> now here we have three digits. So let us write down the places, units, tens, and this is 100. So the tens place is 2. So the digit after 2 is 8, which is more than 5. So we are just going to add plus 1 to 2. So that means you have the 1 remains as it is because 100's place we are not going to change it. 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and the digit after that that is 8 becomes 0. So that means it has rounded off to 130. Now 93. So the tens place is 9 and the digit after that is less than 5. So 9 is not going to change and will have a 0 in place of 3 that is 90. 315 so rounding the tens place tens place is one this is units tens and hundreds tens place is one so after that the digit is five if it is five or more than five you're just going to add plus one to the tens place so three is going to remain the same then one plus one gives you two and the five is going to be replaced by zero so your answer is 320 now for 173 <clears throat> the tens place is 7 the digit after that is 3 which is less than 5 so the, the number in tens place is not going to change so 1 7 and 3 is replaced by 0 so 117 okay 908 so tens place is 0 but uh, you need you need to check the digit after that okay so uh, your answer is not finished if you leave like that. So digit after that is uh, more than 5. So you'll just add plus 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So 9 is as it is. 1. And in place of 8, it is replaced by 0. <clears throat> okay. 209. The tens place is again 0. But you have uh, a digit after that is more than 5. So you'll add plus 1. So, your answer becomes 210. Okay. 167. So, tens place is 6. So, digit after that is more than 5. So, this has been added with 1. So, 170. 245. So, tens place is just 4. So, digit after that is 5. So, there's a plus 1 added to that. So, 5. And the 5 is replaced by 0. So that's 250. 373 the tens place is 7 the digit after that is less than 5 so we, we don't change the number that is 3 and 7 and we just replace 3 with a 0 that's it <clears throat> 196 tens place is 9 and the digit after that is 6 which is more than 5 so you add plus 1 so 9 plus 1 is 10 so there goes a carry over so it becomes 2 0 0 that's just 200 
so this is how you round off the numbers to nearest 10 and stay tuned for the rounding of numbers to nearest hundreds and thousands so please to, uh, don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any doubts you can write it in the comment box so we will post a video accordingly thank you so much bye bye take care